Well, it's good to be at the top, and according to U.S. News and World Report's Best High Schools list, Fairhope High is among some of the best in Alabama. According to the report, Fairhope High is ranked number 10 out of 380 for best high schools in Alabama. NBC 15's James Gordon takes a look at the challenge to keep the school at the same level with all the growth in the Fairhope area. James? Well, you know, the growth in Fairhope is off the charts, but it is all across the entire eastern shore, and Fairhope High has every intention of staying at the top. The U.S. News and World Report ranking has a focus on class size and the student-teacher ratio. When it comes to Fairhope High School, the ranking hits on the Baldwin County School's graduation rate of 91 percent, a college readiness rating of 32.5 percent, ranking it among 1,300 schools in the nation. The more people moving in, we're going to have more systems in place to also get all of our school rankings to go up. Eastern Shore real estate broker Rachel Romash says schools are a big reason people are moving to Baldwin County. However, realtors are not allowed to steer clients. Honestly, we cannot give them a direct answer. Just part of our license law, we will get in trouble if we give it, but we give the resources so they could find that information. People are complaining about the increase in our property taxes, but um, um, be it as it may, it's gonna help our kids as the population continues to grow. We need that funding for our students and our kids to keep that ranking of 10. Fairhope Council Member Corey Martin also sits on the local education coalition. He says despite what the county school system has in store to address growth in the area, it takes other initiatives to make sure uh, local schools stay on top. We've implemented a three mil tax that passed in 2020. The city usually um, gives out um, a, a stipend of about 300000 that uh, also goes with that money. Money that ultimately complements academics and additional teacher units. It's the county that keeps up with the brick and mortar. And at Fairhope High, New buildings like this ninth grade academy were built to accommodate that growth. Still, school officials have said the growth issue remains a countywide challenge. We're doing everything in our power through over $300 million of construction over the last 10 years mm -hmm. to address this. But unfortunately, sometimes we can't get our head above water. Now, for a look at the U.S. News and World Report ranking article, which, by the way, includes high schools in both Mobile and Baldwin County, we've created a link on our website at mynbc15.com. For now, we're live in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.